Okay, let's try a journey I haven't done before yet. Let's try to connect with my Sasani counterpart. So that would be the, the being that I'm most connected to uh, as a counterpart in the Sasani uh, society. So, okay, I just saw an image of um, a blue bird. Uh, looked like it was kind of upside down, like I saw it's like tail feathers. So I'm just going to um, express that. Um, so yeah, let me take a moment here. I see some sort of eyeball. <laughs> um, could be some almost like um, dragon or reptile nature eyeball here looking at me. Okay, I'm starting to get some images. So let's just go with what's happening here and see what unfolds. I'm seeing a bunch of, it's like I'm in an underground cave and there's there's a bunch of teeth. <laughs> I know how strange that must sound, but uh, that's the, the image that's coming is like, there's, um, it's like the, the, the top and the bottoms of this cave, there's like almost like teeth, like lined up like mouths or something. It's, yeah, kind of strange. I'm in some, some underground cavern. There's water here. So what the hell does this have to do with my Sasani counterpart? So, okay, so something's happening here. Um, I'm sort of like going through this like spiraling portal. Uh, it's moving, it's moving forward. It's almost like I'm being carried within some type of uh, dragon energy. Um, Something strange is happening. It's like I'm trying to relax into this and it's like, I almost feel like energy is pulling me in different ways at the same time. <sighs> I do feel some, uh, it's almost like a discomfort. I see some, I see like this, kind of like this whirlwind thing in the sky. It's almost, it could be, it's almost like a cloud formation, a circular cloud formation in the sky, which is, it's almost like there was a tornado in the sky or some circular formation and it was um, made out of cloud or got the clouds swirling in a circle. I've had a few, there's a few, um, there's a few uh, symbolic pictures of like a dolphin or some sort of aquatic creature similar to a dolphin or killer whale possibly I see I see a mountain range I see a mountain in the distance it's got like this sort of like triangular sort of um, uh, escalating um, it's like it's rising up and it's got the sides are like this so it's almost like um, uh, this escalating sort of like almost like triangle going upward. <sighs> See some type of uh, formation. It's almost like somewhat similar to the onk of life type of deal because it's got like a circle and then it's got something coming off of it. And there's almost there's like water going through the the channel part. Now I see a frog here. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing a little, I think it's because it's kind of a funny looking frog. It's a little cartoonish eyeballs. It's like yellow and green. Um, and I see a similar symbol that flashed really quickly of um, uh, kind of a unicorn symbol it was like magenta. 
and its hair was like kind of crazy for some reason. It just like came through there. Something, uh, something did say, um, I'm not quite ready. Um, I think it in reference to making a deeper connection here. Um, but I'm okay. Okay. Now, I, okay, okay, okay. There's like a centaur is standing in front of me, um, sort of looking away from me, which is a very interesting symbol. Um, So the sound said you were not quite ready and uh, what it does feel a little bit like it does feel like um, that yeah it feels like almost like I'm not quite ready to really tune into this frequency at a deeper level um, but I do get information that what I'm doing is good um, okay and there's a mantis being here now uh just sort of here um it's green it's got like you know the long sort of like um uh what do you call them <laughs> arms or whatever the really pointy arms so um i had the thought maybe this is um a guide that is helping to facilitate um in my contact experiences and connections. Um, okay. I see a, I see a, a saucer shaped UFO with a globe type dome. Um, and then I see, okay, so there's like a bubble dome on top of the saucer type UFO. And there's sort of these cartoony um, versions of like Sasani beings inside of them. Um, it's, what is this cartoon where they have the saucers in the bubble dome? Is that like, oh, this is like way far back. Like, is this like Flintstone, Flintstones, right? And like, oh, oh, Flintstones, Flintstones or Jetsons. Oh my God. This was like a cartoon way, 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 way back. Uh, probably almost no one's going to get that reference. Um, but I'm trying to describe that uh, type of, um, UFO and um, I'm kind of I'm a little bit split because uh, there was a there was some childlike Sasani type beings cartoonish beings in there that wanted to fly around and do stuff and now but but when I was explaining that this image of this um, vulture is here now um, a large vulture bird in the scene you know bald head um, so I had, it's like, okay, so what do I do now? Uh, it's almost like there was a split. Do I go back to that or do go up here? Um, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I'm just basically having no insistence here. So it's not like there is one direction this needs to go and it's unfolding, it's connected. The, the 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 vulture's plumage just turned into like parrot feathers while I was speaking and I don't know it looks really weird this is a really weird um, combination for a vulture still with the bald head to have like sort of rainbow like like rainbow type of uh, parrot feathers um, okay now I okay now I see some a new image opening up here. It's like how to describe this. It's it's almost as if someone has taken like um, the architecture of uh, a Japanese. Um, I don't even know how to describe what the proper word is here, but it's almost like a, a dojo or a, a more traditional Japanese type of building with the the roofs that kind of angle up maybe um they're like triangle and then the edges angle up and there's like a, a a scene where there's like three of them put together in a circle in the middle so it's like a geometric sort of uh symbol here um and then and then it kind of branched off with these is pagoda the right word 
like those buildings that it's just like a roof and a roof and a roof and a roof and then there's it's like it's, it's kind of trying right because there's a there's a triangle in the center and then there's um sort of like these japanese roofs in three different directions happening so it's some sort of like it looks like sort of a type of symbolic symbol maybe and i had this wondering if if i was being given some type of uh um symbol that's somehow connected to um the energy i'm tuning into i don't know okay well this is interesting uh right when i said that um i got a symbol of the um um like an aladdin's lamp which i do feel has to do with um like something to do with you got your you got your wish or this is the completion of the manifestation um that's sort of like a personal symbology and as i said that it just kind of came back in so i feel like that that type of symbol for me for in my consciousness is that type of reflection like this is the manifestation of a wish here it is um, when i get that symbol and i see an elephant now um, but what I, I do want to say, like, I want to go back and say about that symbol, this would be interesting to draw this out because um, maybe this has to do with a symbol for um, either my counterpart or, or something to do with the house of my, the house, some house or sigil perhaps of um, some family I'm connected to. I don't know, I'm just exploring ideas here. I see, a, okay, I also see this like seashell that does have this uh, spiral going upward. It's a um, like a whitish seashell and it's got um, this spiral pattern going upward. And it does kind of remind me of the, the, the houses I described where it's like a smaller, a smaller, a smaller, a smaller house. The spiral is like getting smaller, 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 and gets to a point. Um, the seashell. Okay, let me take a pause here. I also saw some trees that were very golden, golden leaves. Uh, kind of reminds me of the trees in um, uh, the Rings of Power. Uh, series, um, uh, which is the new uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, uh, was it prequel? Prequel to the Lord of the Rings series that just came out. I think, um, yeah, there's something about a tree in there with golden leaves, right? It's um, <clears throat> the elvish type of uh, tree, um, spiritual tree, which it kind of reminded me when I saw this tree here with this golden sort of golden, greenish gold sort of leaves. Okay, I see a cliff face and I see um, a, a brief symbol of the wolf at the top of the cliff. There's a question in my mind about ending. There's a question in my mind, is this enough for this, tr this transmission or do I wish to continue? Good question. Hmm. I'm sort of like standing on this cliff side and I'm, I guess I'm with the, the wolf and uh, I'm overseeing the ocean and there's a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of movement. Um, it's like, it's like almost like there's like different ET craft flying in and out of the water while at the same time there is like um, aquatic type beings like whether they're dolphins or whale type energies they're just like in the they're flying out of the water they're kind of flying around the air and they're kind of flying down and in, back into the water I feel like this is a good uh, place to end this transmission, actually. This was an interesting exploration um, of uh, connecting with or having the intention of connecting with um, my Sasani counterpart. And um, 
Yeah, it's interesting the things that have unfolded. And uh, like I've told you guys before, like this is a process I'm learning. So I don't quite know exactly, um, you know, what is what so far. But uh, in doing this process, I feel like things are unfolding. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next uh, journey I do.